That's right, my dear friends, Tesla stock is falling today, down roughly 10% right now. So is this a good time to buy Tesla? An opportunity to buy the dip? Or will it continue to fall until it fills our gap at 146? Well, today Tesla just hit another support level, maybe it will react, maybe not. It all depends on the price action and how the indices will play out as well. Because in my humble opinion, in the absence of domestic catalysts, Tesla will just follow the broad market from here. So in this video, we are going to look at Tesla, we are going to analyze the indices, the S&P, the Nasdaq indices, in order to find some clues as to what to expect next. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan, it is very nice to meet you guys. So let's start our analysis over here. So. Tesla is doing nothing but losing its key support levels. Since we did this treacherous movement over here, a false breakout from the $200 resistance level, we have been doing nothing but losing support levels. Tesla lost the 21 EMA, Tesla lost the red line at 187, and then in sequence, we respected both lines over here, the 21 EMA and the 187 as a resistance level twice. And now, in sequence, we are losing the 176 support level as well. So we are doing absolutely nothing but losing support levels. And in addition, in addition, where is the path to? We did, for the first time in many, many months, a crystal clear bearish pivot point over here. This is particularly dangerous because Tesla did a false breakout from a resistance level over here. And now we see a bearish pivot point getting triggered, doing, doing a breakaway gap over here, an, earn, an earnings gap. So this is a very, very dangerous, very problematic situation for Tesla. And right now we are trading around a support level at 163. We are slightly losing this support level. Uh, but right now, guys, is this a good time to buy Tesla? Well, looking, looking from a technical point of view, purely technical point of view, ignoring many other important questions like, uh, what is your risk management? What is your position size? Are you a short or mid or long term kind of investor? I don't know. Ignoring all of these important questions purely from a technical point of view, right now, Tesla is not a buy. All right. We are around a support level. Okay. Yes, we are around a support area. But a trading around a support level is totally different than doing a bottom signal. Okay. Right now, do we see a bottom signal? Do we see a bullish reaction? confirming a bottom sign in this area? No, there is no bottom signal because there is no bullish reaction so far. Tesla is just bearish. We just triggered a bearish pivot point. We found a resistance area around the 21 MA, around the 187 over here. And then we are just crashing. Looking at a few indicators over here, we see that in addition to this dual resistance level on Tesla, we have been struggling a lot in breaking the 50 period moving average over here. The 50 period moving average acted as a support level one, two, three times. Now that we lost it, it has been working as a resistance level on Tesla. And we did a bearish pivot point after, after losing the 50 period moving average. Again, this is a very, very problematic situation for Tesla stock. Yes, we are around a support area over here, but this, is, this alone is not enough. This alone does not justify a buy. Again, only purely a technical point of view. All right. What's more, if you ask me, it feels like Tesla, Tesla triggered a possible head and shoulders chart pattern over here. This is a real possibility. In this scenario, Tesla could easily drop to much, much lower levels. And of course, this volatility is not a big surprise because we are reporting earnings and uh, the timing of such huge movement 
couldn't be better because the Bollinger, the Bollinger Bands over here were quite tight for, I don't know, in the past few months over here, since the beginning of March, we have been trading sideways. The Bollinger Bands were getting very, very tight in this area. And right now we are just exploding. We are breaking the bands right now, trying to melt too much lower levels. Times like this are perfect for straddles or strangles strategies and this is exactly what we did on our anti-fragile newsletter. I recommended a very nice strangle and right now Tesla is playing insanely well after earnings. Therefore, if you want to keep in touch with valuable strategies on Tesla stock, take a look at my website. The link is in the description of this video. Don't be fragile, be anti fragile. Now, let's get back to Tesla stock over here in, in the weekly chart. Another problematic sign on Tesla stock is this. We are doing a lower high and we are trying to do a lower low as well. In this scenario, Tesla is going to trigger a bearish pivot point in the weekly chart, frustrating any, any possible bullish thesis on it, any possible long-term bullish this is on Tesla stock for now. And again, the 146 is the next technical support level to work with on Tesla, as we can see over here in the daily chart, because it is a gap area. And if we use Fibonacci in the weekly chart, in the weekly chart, the 61.8% Fibonacci's retracement is exactly at 146 as well. Therefore, 146, that's our major support level to work with right now. Uh, assuming that Tesla is going to actually lose the 163 support level from here. Now, in my humble opinion, since Tesla lacks domestic catalysts over here, it is going to just follow the broad market from here. And uh, this is another problem, to be honest, because the S&P is trying to do a pullback right now. The S&P is losing an important support level at 41.33, a previous top level over here from April 4. Right now, we are losing the support level, indicating that it is going to seek the next support level, which is the 21 EMA. The NASDAQ index is also struggling a lot over here in this area. It is trading inside a range between the 12.8K, a previous resistance slash support level and between the 13.2k which is a gap area over here and it is working as a resistance level as well now if tech stocks continue to crash and the s p i'm so sorry and the nasdaq index loses the 12.8k area over here it is going to trigger it is going to trigger a double top chart pattern in this area and that this is going to be very, very problematic for Tesla because it is going to follow the broad market's sentiment over here. And, and uh, this just reinforces the idea that yes, it could seek the 146, possibly in one single blow, in one single bearish leg, if, if the indices reverse their bullish momentum over here, because the indices are still bullish. All right, the S&P, we see nothing but higher highs, higher lows. We don't see this on the S&P, right? We don't see lower highs, lower lows yet. It is still in a bull trend. It is still above the 21 MA. The 21 MA is still pointing upwards. Similarly, we see the NASDAQ index in a bullish bias. However, tech stocks are in a more delicate situation because we see an equivalent high. Unlike the S&P, which we see higher highs, higher lows. We see equivalent highs. We don't see a lower low yet, but uh, we could see if we lose 12.8K. Therefore, it is very important to watch uh, the indices from here, to analyze how they are gonna play from here, and to see how Tesla is going to react around the 163 support level. If you ask me, there is still time, there is still hope that it could react, but right now, it is not giving us any, any technical signal indicating that it is doing a bottom sign or that it is going to reverse or that it is going to bounce 
to higher levels. Again, Tesla is just bearish. But I'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this on this channel. Therefore, subscribe to this channel because you're gonna miss my future analysis if you don't. And click on the like button to support me as well. And remember to check my website, subscribe to my newsletters for valuable information on Tesla stock and other stocks as well. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. Stay safe. Bye-bye.